oh, we have to take the derivative with respect to t, right? Because we're looking for dy dt. So, so taking the derivative with respect to t, the derivative of the first is dx, d, dx dt, right? It's the derivative with respect to t. That's the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. What would that be? dy, dy dt. Very good. dy dt. And that's equal to what would go here in this case? Zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's plug stuff in. So now we'll plug stuff in. So let's do it. So plug. Oh, okay. So before we plug stuff in, um, I guess when x is 8 and dx dt is 13, so let me write that down. So when x is 8, dx dt is 13. So we have these two conditions. So and. What are we missing? If we're looking for dy dt, what's missing? Like we have, we have x, we have dx dt. Which one don't we have? The y. So I guess, I guess we can use this to find y, right? So then y equals 2 over x, right? You could divide this by x, right? Right? You could divide this by x. So that would be 2 over 8. So that would be 1 fourth. Right? So I'm going to write it again. So y equals 1 fourth. All right, now I'm going to plug everything in. So when x is 8, we have this. And then you can take this 8 and just put it here. I was going to do it like this. I was going to do 8y equals 2. I could have done that as well. And then solve for y, right? Yeah? Um, you have dx dt um, as 3, but it's 13. 13. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good. Hey, can I borrow your pen again, Ethan? Thanks. Extra credit. Do you want the same color? No, a different color. Different yeah, that, uh, uh, yeah, it's fine. The pink didn't work well because I made a mistake again. Thanks. Uh, J uh, Joey, Josh. Josh. Oh, whoa. 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 It's so bright. Do you write with this sometimes? Or? No, I circle. It's like a highlight. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'll see it. Don't worry. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like well, I can't look at it. Like, ah! <laughs> Thank you. Everyone okay with this with the Y equals one fourth? Thank you. Well, it's not, well no. Okay. <laughs> Assuming I will mess up. All right. So, so now we have this. It's not to plug everything in. So dx dt, we know that's 13. Thank you, Josh. Y, we said, was 1 fourth, right? 1 fourth. X, we said, was, what was X? 8. 8. And then dy dt, we don't have. We have to find that, right? So dy dt, and this is equal to 0. OK, so this will be 13 fourths um, plus 8 dy dt equal to 0. So subtract 13 fourths, so you get 8 dy dt equal to negative 13 fourths. Multiply by 1 eighth or divide by 8. That will give us dy dt equals negative 13 over 32. A lot, of, a lot of computations in these problems, right? They're long. They're not like two steps, right? They're just a little bit longer. 